And as we will see in problem eight, sometimes you may be asked to find the z-scores that separate the middle percent of the curve. So up until now, we've been looking for the top 5%, the bottom 10%, or whatever the case is. We hadn't been looking for a middle percentage, but that's what we'll go ahead and do now in example 8a. Find the z-scores that separate the middle 80% of the curve. So you'll always be given a specific percentage you're looking for in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my curve as best I can, figure out what 80% in the middle would look like. And so we're going to need to find two z-scores, a negative z-score because it's on the left side of the curve and a positive z-score that's on the right side of zero in the center. Okay, we know 100% of the curve, 100% is area under the curve, but we've got 80% that's in the middle. So that means the remaining balance is 20%. So this 20% is split between the left and the right side of our curve. But we can only find z-scores based on area to the left. So we will go ahead and start by looking for the negative z-score. But this 20%, remember, is not in both curves. It's got to be split between the two. So half of 20% is on the left curve, which is 10%. Since we're going to have to use the Z table, we want to change a percentage to a decimal. So 10% is 0.10. Although since our table has four digit numbers, it might be easier to look for 0.1000 in the curve, which represents this left triangle. So we get the Z table out, we go to the negative Z score table and bounce around until we get to row negative 1.2 and we find the values 1003 and 0.0985. So remember, oh sorry, they're underneath rows 0.08 and 0.09. So remember, we're looking for 0.1000. So we've got one number that's too big and one number that's too small. So the number we want would be in between these two numbers. The 1003 number is basically three units away. The 0 0.0985 is 15 units away. So we wanna go with the closest distance, which is only three units away. And so that means we need to take the z-score of negative 1.2 for our negative portion. And then remember that eight is in the hundredths place. So we would put the eight after the 1.2. So we have our negative z-score of negative 1.28. And because the table is symmetrical, meaning that we could just chop it down the middle and the left side is a mirror image of the right side, our positive z-score would then just be positive 1.28. Or if you weren't feeling confident with that, you could find the z-score for the top 10%, which remember this top 10%, because we have 10% in each tail, would be found by saying, well, 100% of the curve minus 10% is 90% and so from this line to the left all the way to the left would be 90% and so then what you would do is look up 0.90 for 90% or 0.9000 in the table and you'll find it's closest to row positive 1.2. So we now have our two z-scores because whenever you're finding a middle percentage you're always going to be finding two z-scores. So we can answer this, but as most of you guys are familiar with in math, because you've got the same digits with only a positive and a negative sign being the only difference, you could just write plus or minus 1.28 for the z-scores that separate the middle 80%.